Hey guys, in this video, let's talk about push notifications using Firebase for single devices. This has been one of the most requested videos on this channel ever. I have received a lot of like personal message, direct messages, comments and everything uh, by, from a lot of our friends asking me to do a video on this. Uh, essentially, in simple terms, it's nothing but sending a push notification to a spe any specific device guys. This is made possible using the device token of that particular device. We are going to store that device token of that particular device uh, in our DB and then send a push notification to that exact token. That's what we are going to see in this video. So uh, I'll split this into two parts so that the video doesn't become too long and boring. And the other thing is these involve two different, completely different concepts. One is our mobile phone, uh, the, the Ionic 2 application running on our mobile phone and another is a uh separate piece of code standalone like standalone piece of code running on uh, firebase cloud so in, in the first video we'll see how to create that uh, ionic 2 application it's going to be pretty much simple what we'll do is we'll just have a button upon clicking that button you'll log into firebase you'll log in into your application and then uh, you'll store a message on your firebase db that's what we are going to do so let's try to move things a bit fast uh, so that this video is shorter obviously i have already created a i mean scaffolded out a application ionic 2 application and I, here i have it so uh, first i'll install the necessary plugins cordova plugin fcm this is what we are going to use ionic plugin add. so sorry i have copied that Let this get added. Meanwhile, I'll go here and uh, okay, this was added. Then we'll install Firebase and Angular Fire 2. Okay. Now what we'll do is, uh, as usual, let's start off with the Firebase part. Uh, I'll open app dot module dot ts and then import from at sorry at angular fire not at angular fire it's just angular fire, angular fire 2 and inside this uh, angular sorry angular fire module okay and uh, one more thing we'll generate a login page ionic g page login okay uh, let that get generated uh, then what I'll do is get my configurations from Firebase. This has nothing to do with Ionic.io guys. That's entirely a different concept. This is purely with Firebase. Uh, purely we are going to send messaging, uh, I mean messages, push notifications with Firebase. So I'll copy this, close this, go over here and then after this I paste it. And then in the import cell simply add, where is it, sorry, the import cell simply add angular fire module uh, config, sorry, angular fire module dot initialize app config. Okay, and uh, I'll also add uh, imports for login page as well. From pages, login, login. Okay, uh, now I'll go into app.component.ts. Here I'll change this to login so that the opening page, the page that loads up when the app loads is our login page and not our home page. Okay, uh, this is done and I'll open up pages in the login page. I'll simply create a, a button, login.html, button, ion button, click, sign in. Okay. Very 
very simple piece of code guys so i'm just creating a button that's all and here i'll have a function sign in uh what this will do is first i'll need firebase for this import from angular fire to slash database inside this i'll add angular fire database and then here i'll AFB, AFD, Angular Fire Database, Angular Fire Database. Okay. Inside this uh, sign in function, let's just uh, um, Firebase dot auth dot. We didn't import Firebase. Import Firebase from Firebase, sorry, Firebase, and then here Firebase dot auth dot uh, uh, sign in with email and password. We'll create a fake user, add user, test push, uh, test um, user push at test dot com. Password will be user test. One, two, three. Okay. Then we'll make use of this. I'm simply hard coding, guys. But you need to create to you know how a login works, right? I'm not going to get into that. So law. Um, sorry. User push at test dot com. This will be the sign in. Password will be user test one two three dot. Then. uh this dot nav control nav controller is not there oh no ctr dot uh set root set root sorry set root home page home page has not yet been imported import uh from home 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 page and yeah that's all that's needed right dot catch will handle the error as well uh, alert uh, login failed Sir. okay i'm simply logging in using the email and password of firebase guys the, the reason for this is i'll just tell the reason as well if you notice i am on spark uh, plan right uh, if you look at the pricing of firebase plans the i'll show that also outbound networking for cloud functions is for google services only which means that uh, google owned services google services here in this case refers to google owned services so if you use a google authentication or a google owned service that is a firebase is google owned right if you use one of these for authentication then the push notification can be sent uh, from a free plan itself otherwise i think you need to pay some amount uh, you need to give in your billing information as well that's why i'm using i'm on the spark plan for free right free itself is pretty generous in my opinion guys as regards to firebase anyway let's move on with the with what we were doing uh, so uh, we have finished login right once we have logged in let's get into home page and this is where our, uh, we'll copy half of the things from here FCM plugin. This is for our uh, Firebase cloud messaging. So if it gets logged in here, first what we'll write is we'll refer to the docs. FCM plugin dot on token refresh. FCM plugin dot get token, and FCM plugin on notification. Right. So first I'll do this FCM plugin on notification. Uh, I on view did load once this is loaded 
we can check whether a notification arrives if there is a notification we are simply if the notification was received on the device tray and if the user taps it will display an alert if not if the applic application is on running on the foreground itself then the notification will, will not be displayed on the notification tray it will directly uh, open up as an alert for the user uh, I, I hope you understand this from the code itself so then then we'll do this token refresh as well subscribe subscribe to topic we won't see in this video guys because this is going to be a beginner video I'll uh, if you want I'll make a different video on well, let's move on with the code guys this is what makes the video long and long as I keep talking so uh, FCM plugin on notification and on token refresh is handled now but we need to get the token first and store it on the DB right so uh, to get the token first and store it for storing it on a DB we'll write a separate function uh, token setup or FCM setup uh, store token store token okay and inside this what we'll do is uh, we'll have a separate fire store equal to this dot firebase not this dot firebase dot firebase dot database dot ref push tokens okay uh, and we'll reference that here this dot afd dot list uh, this dot fire store we will make use of that database reference here dot push and we'll push some um, random message uh, sender name sender name we can get from firebase dot auth dot current oh this won't work here guys because we have just created a fake account right uh, with just an email and a password we need to update that programmatically with the display name uh, that's a complicated work so what i'll do is simply hard code something vincent okay you you need to give the center name uh, the method that they told just now right while signing up uh, for a user the user will give username password and display name right that display name you can make use of by just giving firebase dot auth dot current user dot uh, current user dot uh, display name so that's how you get the name of that particular user who is sending the message anyway uh, let's move on sender name and message will be hello okay so very very simple i am simply pushing in a message into our push tokens sorry this is push tokens right not message so push tokens we need to push in a token right we will get the token first and then push in, push in. so uh, it will be uh, that's wrong guys this Wait. Hmm. Uh, where was I? Yeah, push tokens. So I'll use the UID Firebase dot uh, auth dot current user dot UID and device token will be. Uh, let's get it. We'll use the constructor for that. Uh, this dot token setup token setup okay uh, token setup we'll write a separate function token setup where promise equal to new promise is all reject and uh, token is there get yeah, token yeah fcm flow token get token function token uh, this is not just alert token we will send this resolve token and we will write a method for error as well we should write it here right not with the promise error callback we will handle the error as well Eject error and then uh, return promise okay this dot token setup dot then uh, token uh, this dot uh, fire store not fire store sorry store token this dot store token of token okay why was the problem in this 
okay this is token okay uh, this will be dev token very simple piece of code guys if this is pushed then if not we'll write a catch Okay. Now we have got the token of that device, particular device, and then stored it uh, using uh, Angular Fire 2 into our Firebase database, right? Then we'll also store a message. Okay. For that, uh, this dot afd again, once again dot list uh, messages we'll have a separate. Fire message equal to Firebase dot database dot reference messages. Okay. Uh, sorry. Start AFD. This start fire message dot push uh, user. Sorry. Sender name Vincent message hello okay some random message I am storing guys nothing fancy in this dot then uh, alert message stored dot catch uh, alert message not stored okay very simple guys uh, i'll explain in short uh, what i'm doing is upon getting into this home component uh, i am first you know setting up the token uh, it will call this token setup and then i am using fcm plugin dot get token to get a token once the token is got i am sending it to store token where this is storing on my uh, i have a separate collection for push tokens if you notice my database there is one separate collection for push tokens right inside that i am storing my token uh, along with the uid of that uh, specific user the, based on that login uh, i am getting the uid and then what i am doing is i am also storing a random message so assume that that user has sent this message okay i am storing this message in my messages collection uh, as well uh, that's all that very simple code that i am doing here and uh, if I run this on our uh, mobile device, it will run fine, guys. There is no, uh, it's a simple piece of code, right? Uh, this will run fine for sure. Uh, so I guess I need not show you uh, how this is getting stored. I, I'll show you, I'll show you in my next video. So uh, yeah, guys, this is what I wanted to show in this first video. What we are doing here is we are simply uh, clicking on a button and uh, storing, getting the token of that device particular device and storing it uh, in firebase now in the second part what we will do is we will write a real time database trigger uh, that will be running on firebase cloud what it will do is uh, uh, when messages appear on your messages collection it will take that particular message and then send that message to all the tokens uh, pushed into the push tokens collections collection okay so uh, it will extract all the tokens from the push token collection and then start sending the single message that was added to the uh, messages collection. It will take the message and then start sending to all the tokens programmatically. You need not do something. You just uh, click on the button and then sit simply. And uh, if everything goes fine, you will as you will receive a notification on your device as well. Since this device token is going to be registered on the push tokens collection. This is what will happen, guys. Uh, I'll show this in a pretty much detailed way in my next video. Uh, the reason, the only reason I didn't show in this video is that the video will become too long. So yeah, guys, uh, we're not already talking too much. Stay tuned for my next video. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the like button on this video if you really like this video. And thanks for all the support you have been showing me for the past several months, guys. Um, have a great day. Bye.